so their concentration will decrease and this is exactly what we had done in the example now all the other points are similar to this i want you to note them pause the video note them down because if you write your answers exactly like this you will get the marks for for your answers so this is exactly what we had discussed about equilibrium and uh, about shifting of equilibrium by changing concentration and this is what i want you to um, note down now let's move further pause the video note this down and then continue so changing pressure in a gas phase reaction now again my favorite example for this presentation n2 gas plus 3h2 gas gives me in a reversible reaction 2 nh3 so uh, when i increase pressure so it, they are in a reaction vessel right so they are in a vessel uh, a container and they are the molecules the so these will these are reacting together in this container so when my system is in equilibrium inside the container in dynamic equilibrium then uh, if i want to produce more nh3 again so what happens is that to produce more nh3 i will increase the pressure because increasing the pressure favors the side of reaction with lower number of moles so in this case the overall number of moles in the stoichiometric equation is 4 uh, on on the reactants so 4 moles of reactants which give me two moles of products so the side with lower number of moles will be this direction from 4 to 2 so this will be lower number of moles so when i increase the pressure of this system when it is in dynamic equilibrium what will happen is that more n2 and h2 will react to form more of nh3 because my equilibrium will shift to the right the equilibrium shifting to the right will mean that uh, more of nh3 is formed and this is the side the forward direction is the direction with lower number of moles so as i go forward my amount, my number of moles is decreasing the number of moles of gas so i'm sorry i forgot to include the state symbol over here this is a gas so as i go from 4 moles to 2 moles the number of moles is decreasing so as i increase pressure my equilibrium shifts to the right because the forward reaction will be favored in this case and the fact that the forward reaction will be favored it means that my uh, that it means that more of nh3 is forming and hence i am getting more of ammonia gas so i can increase the pressure in this case to get more of ammonia so that that is why a uh, high pressure is used in the hab process around 200 atmospheres so usually 200 atmospheres of pressure is used in the hab process because of the reason that my equilibrium will lie towards the right and more of ammonia will be formed so this high pressure is used only to shift the equilibrium to the right to get more of ammonia gas and uh, uh, so now on the other hand a decrease in pressure favors the side of the reaction with greater number of moles so if i decrease pressure then more moles uh, so it will favor the side with greater number of moles so in that case in that case my ammonia will decompose to form the reactant so if i decrease the pressure my ammonia will decompose to form the reactants and as my ammonia decomposes to form the reactants it means that uh, i'm getting uh, my uh, amount of ammonia is de decre decreasing and my amount of nitrogen and hydrogen is increasing and i don't want that i want the opposite to happen so that's why we keep a high pressure in the hab process because an increase in pressure favors the side of reaction with lower number of lower number of moles and a decrease in pressure favors the side of reaction with greater number of moles so as i decrease pressure my equilibrium will shift to the left because more ammonia will decompose and hence more reactants will form more of n2 and h2 will form so in this case my back reaction is being favored when i have decreased the pressure now we have done uh, the effect of changing concentration the effect of changing pressure and now we will do the effect of changing temperature on the position of equilibrium 
So an increase in temperature favors endothermic side of reaction and a decrease in temperature.